Hello guys, uh, good afternoon. I'm Architect Oliver and I prepared another set of questions for you para makatulong sa pagre-review nyo. Uh, by this time, I prepared something from uh, Code of Ethical Conduct. Uh, guys, basahin nyo tong Code of Ethical Conduct not only for the purpose of review uh, but uh, for normal uh, uh, normal architect sa pakikipag-usap sa kapwa natin architect sa client, sa subordinates natin, and sa mga dealers and manufacturers. Dito kasi makikita yung relationship, how you will talk to them, how the proper way uh, of being a nice and nice architect. Okay, so uh, let's start. Number three, it is a document which form part of the architect's national code, which contain the norm and principle governing the practice of the profession of architecture in the highest standards of ethical conduct. A. Document 201 to 209 B. RA 9266 C. Code of Ethical Conduct D. PD 1096 Answer C. Code of Ethical Conduct Number 10 Can the architect ask for discount from firms handling building materials or equipment? Again, can the architect ask for discounts from firms handling building materials or equipment? A. Yes, as long as he gives the contractor his fair share. B. Yes, as long as discounts are credited to the client. C. No, it is totally not allowed. D. No, he can only ask direct, directly from supplier. Answer. B. Yes, as long as the discount are credited to the client. Yes, guys, you can ask a discount, but yung discount na yun is ang makikinabang is the client hindi pwede makinabang si architect doon number 15 the architect shall explain the, the conditional character of estimate other than estimate submitted in the form of actual proposals by contractor and in no case shall he guarantee any estimate or cost of the work to secure a commission it is the architect's responsibility in relation to blank. A. Client B. People C. Contractor D. Manufacturer or dealer Answer A. Client Guys, kailangan nyo i-explain sa client everything about the project. That's one of your responsibility. Number 15. Which is an ethical action with respect to the architect's responsibility in relation to manufacturers, dealers, and agent? Again, which is an ethical action with respect to the architect's responsibility in relation to manufacturers, dealers, and agent. A. Receive gifts, gifts or favor from agents or firm handling building materials. B. Avail of technical services by manufacturer accompanied by obligation. C. Accepts market discount credited to the client. D shall not render professional services without a professional service agreement. Answer C. Accepts market discount credited to the client. 26. It is a document which forms part of the Architect National Codes which contain the norms and principles governing the practice of the profession of architecture in the highest standard of ethical conduct. So guys, umulit na lang yung question. A. UAP Documents 200, 200 
B. UAP Documents 202 C. UAP Documents 201 D. UAP Documents 203 Answer A. UAP Document 200 27. In the adaptation and promulgation of the Code of Ethical Conducts, Article 6 is about A. Architect's responsibility in relation to the people B. Architect's responsibility in relation with the client C. Architect's responsibilities to relation to the contractor D. Architect's responsibilities in relation to his or her colleagues and subordinates. Answer D. Architect's responsibility in relation to his or her colleagues and, and subordinates. 28. Under Article 2, Section 3, the architect is engaged in a profession which carries with it civic responsibilities towards the public, whether such responsibilities are the natural outcome of good citizenship or of his her professional pursuit, or whether they partake of informative and educational matter or of his her normal interest in public welfare. A. Relation with the client. B. Relation with the public C. Relation with the manufacturers, dealers, and agent D. Relations with the, con the contractor Answer B. Relations with the public 29. A very popular brand as architect Lisa if they can use her image and her name in the advertising billboard that will be set up in EDSA. Should the architect accept the offer? A. Yes, provided that she signed with a contract and paid fairly. B. Yes, provided that the point Provided that the paint brand will give him big discount on his future project. C. No, it may have a negative effect to himself and the architectural profession. D. No, because she might be obliged to use the brand for all of his project. Answer. C. No. It may have a negative effect to herself and the architectural profession. 30. Architect Leo is a member and servant of his church, which is planning to build a new edifice for their prayer and worship. If he gets this project, he will be able to show his design skills and talent that may result to future projects within their church. Now, he is planning to give his professional services free of charge. Is this ethical? A. Yes, because he can earn on the future project that will result from this religious project. B. Yes, since it is a religious project. C. No, he should only give discount on his professional fee. D. No, the Code of Ethical Conduct clearly states that no architect shall give free professional services. Answer? Yes. B. Yes, sin since it is religious project. Yeah, guys, there's an exception on the uh, giving or asking for the professional fee. Nakalist yun sa Code of Ethical Conduct natin. So, if religious project, yes, 
pwede nang hindi yan singilin ng professional fee. 31. A 600-year-old church in Quezon has been in a controversial issue since it is set to being demolished in place of a high-end commercial complex. Architect Mark is being eyed as the architect to design the said project. Shall he accept the project if awarded to him? A. Yes, as long as he will not have liability with any entity which concerns the historical value of the church as NHI. No, as an architect, he has the duty to respect and conserve the historical and cultural heritage of the community. C. No, as an architect, he should see the contract first. D. Yes, because it is a big project and he can donate a church replacement of the old one. Answer. No. As an architect, he has a duty to respect and conserve the historical and cultural heritage of the community. Okay guys, dito sa Code of Ethical Conduct, you can see also that hindi, kailangan natin i-preserve yung mga historical and cultural heritage. So, at based to this uh, question, no. The architect mark cannot accept the contract or to design the project because he has an obligation to respect and conserve the historical and cultural heritage of the community. 32. Architect Risa solicited a project already known to her as previously committed to architect Oliver. Is this ethical? A. Yes, as long as there is no contract signed yet for the project. No, because they are friends. C. Yes, because it is still under negotiation. No, because it is unethical by any means or circumstances. Answer? No, because it is unethical by any means or circumstances. Guys, ganito yan. If the project is already, uh, may, gu may gumagawa na dun sa project na yun. For example, si Architect Oliver. And then si client, uh, nag-ask again sa another architect. Unethical na yun ng gagawin ni Architect Risa if she will get that or she will commission that uh, project. no? Unless, i-inform niya si Architect Oliver and then may usapan sila na pumapayag na si Architect Oliver na ibigay kay Architect uh, Risa yung project. So, pwede na yun. <clears throat> 35. In what article in the Code of Ethical Conduct is the architect's credo? Again, in what article in the Code of Ethical Conduct is the architect's credo? A. Article 5. B. Article 6 C. Article 7 D. Article 8 Answer C. Article 7 42 The architect shall not avail or make use of engineering or other technical technical services offered by the manufacturers or supplier of building materials or equipment which may be accompanied by an obligation detrimental to the best interest of the client or which may adversely affect the architect's profession opi professional opinion. It is the architect's responsibility in relation to A. Supplier, distributor B. People C. Contractor D. Manufacturer, dealer, agent Answer B. 
D. Manufacturer, dealer, and agent. 55. All market discount shall be credited to blank. 55. Again, all market discount shall be credited to blank. A. Architect. B. Contractor. C. Client. D. Agent or dealer. Answer. C. Client. 70. Which is an ethical? Again, which is an unethical action with respect to the architect's responsibility to his client? Again, which is an unethical action with respect to the architect's responsibility to his client? A. Undertake construction for a fixed contract sum under design build services. B. Guaranteed any estimates or cost of work. C. Does not offer preliminary sketches without an agreement. D. Advises client to forego an viable project. Answer. B. Guarantee any estimate or cost of the work. 73. Identify the Article 2 in the Code of Ethical Conduct. Again, identify the Article 2 in the Code of Ethical Conduct. A. The architect's responsibility in relation to the public. B. The architect's responsibility in relation to the people. C. The architect's responsibility in relation to the contractor. D. General provision. Answer. B. The architect's responsibilities in relation to the people. Okay guys, uh, thank you very much and God bless. Uh, very short lang yung uh, topic na yun, yung uh, series of questions na yun for Code of Ethics, Ethical Conduct. I suggest talaga na basahin nyo siya para maintindihan nyo talaga yung relationship ng architects to the, to the people, to the client, to uh, architects, uh, to other architects, to, to our colleagues, to our subordinates, to uh, dealer, like that. It's very important guys, not only for the review purpose, but yung normal na pakikipag-usap na in everyday life, napaka-importante niya to know. Okay guys, so thank you and uh, God bless. Bye!